Hello, mga tel. Welcome to another episode of Do It With Shade. today's episode, we are going to test a product na dati-rate ginagamit lang sa mga hospitals and mga offices, but ngayon nauuso ng gamitin sa loob ng bahay. Ano po ba itong product na ito? The product that I'm going to share to you for today is the Kofi Ultraviolet Lamp. Ito, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo yung box niya. Ayan. This product that I've ordered from Lazada was on sale nung in-order ko ay nagkakahalaga ng 1201.50 with shipping fee na po yun. So, ano po ba itong purpose ng product na ito? Kukunin ko lang yung mismong product. Tinanggal ko na siya. Actually, this is the box. The real product is like this. Ano po ba ang purpose ng product na ito? Ang purpose ng product na ito is to kill airborne viruses and bacteria na naiiwan sa atmosphere ng kwarto or ng room kung saan natin siya gagamitin. Okay? Mamaya yung explain ko sa inyo. But before that, let's appreciate kung ano ba itong meron dito sa product na ito at kung ano yung kasama dun sa package nung na-deliver to sa akin. Sulit ba ang pagkakabili ko sa product na ito? I really like products that are very simple. Okay? So this one is the main lamp. Ito, meron siyang dalawang ultraviolet bulb. Meron siyang frame that is made out of plastic colored in gold. Meron siyang base colored in gold and one on and off button. Meron siyang kasamang remote control. The remote control is has also the on and off button and also meron siyang timer. Ang timer niya tatlong setting ang nakalagay dito. It has the 15 minute timer, the 60 minute timer and the 30 minute Timer. Mamaya, i-explain ko kung para saan po ito. Another inclusion ng package is the warranty card, which has no use for me because I cannot read this one. Does it include a manual? No, wala po siyang kasamang manual. So, I have to research kung papaano po siya gagamitin at papaano siya isiset. Before we test this product, ano po ba ang gamit nito at bakit ko siya binili? Ang gamit po nito, just like what I've said earlier, is it will disinfect the room. Papatayin po ng ultraviolet light ang mga harmful bacteria and also viruses na naiwan pa sa atmosphere nung kwarto. So, mag-a-assure tayo and mag tayo na malinis na yung hangin pagkatapos nating gamitin nito. This one is the 38 watts ultraviolet light and it is in 220 volts. So hindi na natin kailangan ng adapter. The reason why meron siyang remote control is because we want to guarantee also ang safety ng gagamit ng device na ito. Bakit? Before I bought this product, medyo talagang nagdalawang isip talaga ako. Actually, ayoko pa talaga siyang bilhin nung una. Because it emits ultraviolet light. And if you will research ultraviolet light, it will have a detrimental or harmful effect in the long run kapag lagi-lagi siyang ginagamit. Bago natin siyang gamitin, I would like to inform you the safety precautions ng paggamit nitong device na ito. Because if you will buy this, wadi niya talaga magamit itong warranty card or kung may manual man siyang kasama. So what is the safety precautions? Number one, if you will use this device, you have to make sure na wala kang kasama. So let's say for example, kung sa sala, wala po doon ang family member mo. Kung sa kwarto mo siya gagamitin, wala po doon ang mga family member mo. Mismong ikaw, kung ito turn on mo na siya, you have to be away and use the remote control para po hindi ka matamaan ng light from this device. Again, this device emits ultraviolet light and if you will research ultraviolet light if often used and if you are often exposed to it, can cause skin cancer. Kaya po siya nakakapatay ng mga harmful viruses and bacteria. Number two safety precaution is 
when you are using this one and you are a plantita, meron kang mga halaman sa loob ng room mo, you have to remove them as well because mamamatay ang mga halaman if always exposed in the ultraviolet light. Number three, safety precaution is if you have animals, pets, malaki man o maliit na pet, kailangan din silang alisin sa loob ng room kahit fish pa yan para hindi sila ma-expose sa ultraviolet light. And number four safety precaution na ako personally kong ginagawa is I remove all the liquids na nandun sa room. Let's say for example sa banyo, lahat po ng mga shampoo, sabon, toothpaste, lahat ng nakalagay sa bote ay tinanggal ko po sa loob ng banyo para po hindi siya ma-expose sa ultraviolet light because liquids are very volatile and if exposed many many times sa ultraviolet light, yung chemical component and molecular structure ng liquid is baka maapektuhan. So, make sure na hindi rin sila exposed. Make sure also that this is not exposed to food or your food is not exposed to this when it is turned on. Yun lang naman yung mga safety precaution before using this product. After ninyong i-turn on itong product, ang gagawin po natin, di ba, ito yung on. Ang gagawin nyo po is isi-set yung timer depende sa size ng kwarto or ng area na gagamitin nyo siya. So, let's say for example, the banyo. The banyo is really not that big in terms of its size. You can set it into 15-minute timer. You turn it on, the red button, and then mag-wait lang po kayo ng mga 3 beeps, magbibip yan, pip, 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 and then you press the 15-minute timer for the banyo. If it's your room, ayan, na medyo medium size na kwarto, you can set it in into 30 minutes. If it is a bigger room, let's say for example, yung entire house, o kaya naman po yung sala, you can set it into 60 minutes. Kung malaking malaki na po yung kwarto or yung area kung saan nyo siya ilalagay at papaanda rin. So, ano pang pa inaantay natin? Let's test this product so that you will see kung paano siya gamitan. Let's go! Paano siya gamitin? Very simple at very easy to use. Now, ano po ba ang reaction ko dito sa product na ito? For the Kofui, Kofui, hindi ko po alam, alam kung paano siya basahin, no? For the Kofu uh, Ultraviolet Lamp, I really like that it is very simple in terms of its physical appearance. So, kahit wala siyang English translated manual, alam ko pa rin siya kung paano siya gamitin. At the same time, I like that it is 220 volts na siya, kaya madali na siya, hindi na siya kailangan ng adapter kapag ka sinaksa. I also like that when it was sent here, it was packaged properly because yung ultraviolet lamp or yung bulb niya is very manipes. Ang maganda is hindi siya nabasag because it was packed properly. Talaga makapal yung styro na ginamit sa kanya and at the same time nakabubble wrap din siya. Now, for the areas for improvement of this product, of course, number one is the manual. Sana po meron siyang English translated na manual. The next thing is the type of material na ginamit sa frame. As you can hear, medyo cheap and brittle yung kanyang plastic wear. So, yung material na ginamit sa kanya is 
in comparison dun sa binayaran ko na 1,200 plus, eh, medyo cheap siya for me na material ng frame. Though, nicely painted, kulay gold, very elegant pag tinangnan nyo, very lightweight, so madadala nyo kahit saan. Pero sana, yung ginamit nila is kahit pa paano, medyo makapal-kapal and durable type of plastic. So, yun lang naman. Now, the last verdict, gagamitin ko po ba ito? Yes, I'm gonna use this product again, but not all the time, and most certainly, not every day. I'm gonna use that siguro every time na mag-general cleaning ako sa bahay. And I will make sure that I will follow the safety precaution na nabanggit ko kanina. So, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to hit the notification as well. And share this video to your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching. For any video requests, don't forget to message me in my social media accounts as well as comment down below. Until next Sunday for another episode of Do It With Shane. Keep on rocking! Bye!